Scallops take about a minute to cook, officially making them the healthiest fast food out there. Then you'll have time for horseradish cream. Tender, moist, and delicious. One of my favorite things to order when I go to a restaurant are scallops, and there are usually only three on the plate, so today I'm making six. Like a little appetizer-like main course, all for myself with six. And I come from a part of the world where scallops are famous, and we call them scallops, and everywhere else seems to call them scallops. So, you know, scallops it is, okay? Let's just go with that. All that to say, scallops really need a hot cast iron pan. So while that's warming up, we're gonna make a condiment to go with it. And horseradish, strangely, this peppery root that doesn't look like much, it's quite innocuous, it doesn't even have much of an aroma, but once you cut into it, it kind of activates this really spicy, peppery, kind of mustard-like flavor. It's actually from the mustard family, it's related to the broccoli, their cousins, cabbage as well. Of course, horseradish is a condiment you can buy, but I love to just make it myself. So start by peeling just a little bit off the root, as you would a carrot or ginger root, I would say, because it's kind of bumpy and lumpy, <laughs> interesting. Almost looks like celery -ac. Just make a nice little batch and use it as much as you can. So you've grated your horseradish and just working quickly because it really does burn the eyes like an onion does. I'm gonna grate about two tablespoons worth and I can already smell that. It's almost like a wasabi hit. Okay. Just using your hands, pile this into a bowl. Doesn't matter if there's little bits of, of skin still on there. It's just, it screams homemade. So into the bowl of grated horseradish, a little creme fraiche, or you could use sour cream, or even a full fat yogurt would be just fine. And some dry mustard. And I have some white wine vinegar. It really captures the horseradish and keeps the flavors alive, that little vinegar. Okay, give it a stir. It needs some salt and just that heat will intensify. So just leave it to mingle and get stronger. I'm gonna add some pepper as well. Yum. All right, the pan is nice and hot. Let's have a little look at our scallops. It's really important to have them under paper towel or some sort of kitchen towel just to keep them as dry as possible because a wet scallop will just sort of steam in the pan and we don't want that. We want a nice crispy skin. So at this stage, start by salting your nice dry scallops before you put them in the pan. Just a little bit more oil. Okay, everything's really hot. I'm gonna use my hands. I'm gonna place them in the pan in the shape of a clock, 12 o'clock first, so we know which one to turn, because it's just, it happens really fast. Okay, 12 o'clock, two, four, six, and 10. Okay, honestly, in the time it takes to just move some dishes into the sink, they are ready to turn. Okay, while that other side sears, we'll take a little bit of our horseradish cream. And this is what I call tone on tone cooking. We have a cream plate, this creamy horseradish cream, and these lovely sort of pinky golden scallops. Okay, and honestly, it's almost ready to go. You can actually leave them. I don't want to say leave them raw in the center, but they'll continue to cook through even after you take them off the heat. So just be delicate. Nothing worse than a little rubbery <laughs> scallop. Ah, disaster. Okay. And 
and I have a beautiful tangle of microgreens here. Just a little pop of green and purple to match the delicateness of the scallops. And to break up our tone on tone color scheme. And I'm gonna finish with a little more sea salt and some pepper. It's so pretty. Grab a pink knife to match and dig in to our world famous scallops. A little hit of horseradish. So tasty and spicy and complimentary. That is so delicious. Scallops, these little guys pack big flavor. Fry them, grill them, eat them raw. An ocean of flavor.